Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, back with more Evernote tips and tricks. It's part of my YouTube series on productivity. Please subscribe, and then you won't miss any episodes. Here's what we're going to cover today. We're going to talk about how I use notes for keeping track of my conversations with my clients and the promises I make to them. I'm also going to show you how I set up and format those notes to not only make them look better, but to also structure them so the most important information always remains visible to me. All right, let's start by looking at my imaginary client. I'll be using Evernote's web client. So let me share with you a, uh, a sample client note. Uh, there's a couple of basic ways in which I structure my notes. Now, Evernote does have a series of templates that uh, you can use, and some people find them to be very helpful. I find them to be a little bit cumbersome. I, I prefer to uh, design my own uh, project note, uh, which you can save as a template, uh, but because mine is so simple, I don't really even need uh, to save it as a template. So let me show you the way I structure uh, my client notes. So uh, here's what you'll see. First of all, it's the, the name of the client. It says client note. Um, I just like to structure my notes this way, last name, comma, first name. Uh, then, when my initial meeting with a client, we tried to discuss, well, why is this person meeting with me? So I tried to define in one sentence uh, uh, what's the purpose of our ongoing relationship. I highlight that in yellow uh, just so that it always stands out to me as a reminder of what we're supposed to be doing together. It keeps me on target, and quite frankly, it uh, it periodically reminds the client of what we are doing together. And of course, we can modify it as we go along. The next thing I like to put is contact information, the name of the client, the person's email address, uh, the snail mail address, and the most direct telephone number. Um, if the person has an administrative assistant that I'm working with to schedule meetings, I would uh, also list uh, that person's name and contact information here. So every time we have a meeting, um, sometimes I do this while we're meeting, sometimes I do it right after the meeting, I will make a notation with the date of the meeting, uh, what was the purpose of the meeting, and then I'll just take a, a few notes as to uh, what we talked about. Uh, if there is a task that, uh, that I'm supposed to do, uh, I will make a task. Uh, Dave will provide information, and then I can, of course, create a, a task out of that. If my client is going to uh, get me his resume, then that's here. So this always just kind of serves as a reminder. And one of the things that I will typically do uh, with these action items is I will highlight them in a different color. So let me show you how I do that. So Dave will provide information. That's something that I have to do. So I go over to the color wheel here, and one of the things I like to do is if it's something that I must do, I like to highlight it in red. So now, as you can see, uh, that information there is in red. Um, I, I should say I change the font color. I don't highlight it. I, I tend not to do a lot of highlights. I tend to do a lot of changes in font color. Uh, if it is something that someone is going to get me, I will typically change the font to blue. It's just my way of doing it. You can do any way you want. Uh, the next time we have a meeting, I will make the note on top. So what you see here is uh, it's a descending order. Uh, the first meeting is on the bottom, and then every time we have a meeting, uh, it goes right on top. Uh, that's just so that I can always see very quickly all of the items uh, that I want to do. So now, if it is something that, uh, that Bob is going to get me, I can set up a tag for Bob if I want to. Um, but I, this is sufficient because this, these are uh, uh, discussion items that only take place uh, when we are meeting via teleconference or in person. If I had a note related to an employee, like I showed you in one of the earlier videos, uh, then I would have a tag for each of my employees so that uh, you know when I meet with them, I can immediately go and talk to them about what, uh, about what they're working on and what they're doing. But when it is a client note, as you can see, I just tag it as current projects and then it will reside uh, within this tag.
Now you can do some other things. You notice that I have a separator bar here. I just like doing that. I think it makes it uh, a little bit cleaner. If you look at the top bar here, there are a number of things that you can add. Uh, you can, of course, bold items. I showed you earlier the, the color wheel. You can italicize or underline. If you do want to highlight something like this, let's say I do want to highlight the dates, I can come, I can highlight it, I can come over to this highlight bar, and they give me another a number of options. So if I want to highlight it in green, I can do that, and now that item is highlighted in green. Uh, you can also add bullets uh, to any of the items. You can number the items. You can create check marks as well. Uh, one of the things that I often do is uh, when I'm meeting with a client, particularly if I'm sharing a resource with them, I might want to insert a link uh, to something that uh, you know, we find on the web that I want to share and put it in the notes. So I would add that here. You can left justify, center, or right justify any items. You can do your indentations. Uh, you can do strike throughs. You could do superscripts or subscripts if you would like. Another real cool thing, of course, is that you can select what kind of text. So, you know, maybe for whatever, for whatever reason you want the contact information to really stand out, uh, you could put a medium header uh, for that text. Uh, and you could also do that uh, with your dates if you want. You could go from a normal text to, uh, to a small header. And that does make it stand out uh, a, a little bit more. You still have the opportunity of changing to different fonts and different sizes of fonts as well. Now, some time ago, I told you that the new edition of Evernote also has the opportunity to add, item to add an item to your task list. If you want to add one of these items to a task list, you simply highlight it, you come up here to Insert, and you click on Task. And now that item, as you can see, has a little circle, and that item now also lives in my task section. You could add a due date if you'd like. You can add a reminder. You can create a flag for the item. You can assign the task to a person, or you simply can delete it. So this is the way I design and use my client notes. You might have a different way of doing it, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how I use the blank space of an Evernote note to keep myself organized with all of my clients. I hope you found that helpful. I've been using Evernote for about 10 years now, and it really is key to my strategy of staying productive. If you'd like uh, more information on some of the best researched and most effective productivity tips. I put together a free ebook that I'd like to send to you. All you have to do is send me your email address or uh, just go to my website, davidwardsmedia.com, click on the contact button, fill out the information, and I will send you uh, my ebook, The Top 20 Research Tips and Tricks. I know you'll find it to be very helpful. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me.